Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the Fourier series of periodicity 2L for the given function f of x. In the first part, we are going to write f of x formula that is f of x equal to a0 by 2 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by l plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x by l. Now to find a naught the formula is 1 by l integral 0 to 2 l f of x dx but f of x is made up of two part one is from 0 to l and from 0 to l the function is x by l dx then again 1 by l integral l to 2 l and the function is 2 l minus x by l dx now we keep this 1 by l and uh, x integration is x square by 2 and there is l in the denominator so we can make this as l square our limit is from 0 to l similarly this will become 1 by l square and integration of 2 l is 2 l x minus x is x square by 2 and we have from l to 2 l when i substitute the limit this becomes l square by 2 and lower limit is 0 and this becomes 2L into 2L minus 2L whole square by 2. We put the upper limit then minus when I put the lower limit it is 2L into L minus L square by 2 and close the bracket. Now this becomes 1 by L square into L square by 2 plus 1 by L square and this is 4 L square minus this is 4 L square by 2 which is 2 L square and we can take this minus inside so minus 2 L square and the last term is plus L square by 2 so here these two makes minus 4L square we can cancel with plus 4L square and this L square L square we can cancel so we get 1 by 2 plus 1 by L square into the remaining term is L square by 2 after cancelling this we have 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 1 so we have A0 value which is 1 now, next part we have to find an. Now, an formula is 1 by l integral 0 to 2l f of x into cos n pi x by l dx. Again, our f of x is made up of two parts one is from 0 to l, the function is x by l into cos n pi x by l dx plus 1 by l integral l to 2l and 2l minus x by l into cos n pi x by l dx. Now we take this l outside so 1 by l square integral 0 to l x into cos n pi x by l dx again here 1 by l square integral l to 2l 2l minus x by l sorry this l is taken out so 2 by 2l minus x into cos n pi x by l dx. So we are going to follow Bernoulli's formula uv 
dx integral u v dx the formula is u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 minus u triple dash v4 plus dot 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 so here this is u and this is v in the same way here this is u and this is v so for the first term we are going to apply the formula so 1 by l square u v1 so x into integration of this v is sin n pi x by l by n pi by l minus u dash derivative of x is 1 v2 is integration of this which is minus cos n pi x by l by n pi by l then u double dash will be 0 so no need to continue that term you can place a limit 0 to l here then again for the second term in the same way we have 1 by l square it is u 2l minus x into v1 which is sin n pi x by l by actually your whole square will come because already n pi by l is there so this denominator will be sin n pi x by l by n pi l n pi by l then minus u dash this derivative is minus 1 so minus 1 into again this integration is minus cos n pi x by l by n pi by l and we have from l to 2l because the next term is 0 now using the limit l for this x and for this x sin n pi l becomes 0 actually l and l get cancelled sin n pi is 0 and cos n pi will be minus 1 whole power n in the same way when I put 2l here or l here sin term will be 0 when I put 2l here it is 1 and l then it is minus 1 whole power n so I am going to write 1 by l square anyway the first term is 0 and second term we can cancel this and make plus in the middle so when I put l here it is minus 1 whole power n by n pi by l whole square when I put 0 the first term is 0 because of sin and there is also x and when I put 0 for the cos term it is 1 so 1 by n pi by l whole square then for the second one 1 by l square open bracket when I put 2l here this entire term is 0 and here there are 3 minus so it is minus and cos n pi into 2 is 1 so 1 by n actually this is also square n pi by l whole square when I put the lower limit again this first part is 0 and there are 3 minus already there is a minus so when I put lower limit it will become minus or minus plus and uh, here cos n pi that gives minus 1 whole power n by n pi by l whole square so close the bracket now finally we can take 1 by l square common and n square pi square by l square is also common in the denominator so this is minus 1 whole power n then minus 1 then minus 1 plus minus 1 whole power n so we have outside 1 by n square pi square and this is 2 times of minus 1 whole power n then minus 2 then 2 can be taken out so 2 by n square pi square minus 1 whole power n minus 1 this is our a n so a n is 2 into minus 1 whole power n minus 1 by n square pi square if n is 
odd. It means minus 1 whole power odd number will be minus 1. So minus 1, minus 1 is minus 2 and already there is a 2. So an becomes minus 4 by n square pi square. When n is even, minus 1 whole power even becomes 1. So here 1 minus 1, 0. So an equal to 0. So we will be using this an when n is odd. Then coming to the next part, we have to find bn. bn is again 1 by l integral 0 to 2l f of x sin n pi x by l dx. So again this has two part. So 1 by l integral 0 to l x by l sin n pi x by l dx plus 1 by l integral l to 2l 2l minus x by l into sin n pi x by l dx. So this is 1 by l square integral 0 to l x into sin n pi x by l dx plus 1 by l square integral l to 2l 2l minus x into sin n pi x by l dx. Once again we are going to use Bernoulli's formula integral uv dx is uv1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 minus dot dot dot. So here this is u and this is v. So I have to do twice this Bernoulli's integral formula. So we have 1 by L square outside u v1. u is x. v1 is integration of sin n pi x by L which is minus cos n pi x by L by n pi by L. Then minus u dash is 1. v2 is this integration which is minus sin n pi x by L by n pi by L and bracket close and the next term is 0 so bracket close 0 to L plus for the second term it is 1 by L square u 2L minus x is written as it is then minus cos n pi x by L actually this is having whole square by n pi by L integrate this is our v so v1 means this integration then minus again we have u as this so u dash is minus 1 and this integration is minus sin n pi x by l by n pi by l whole square after that we have our limit from l to 2l so when I put the upper limit, this becomes L into cos n pi and I have to put L here, LL gets cancelled. So minus, there is a minus sign, I keep it here, cos n pi is minus 1 whole power n by n pi by L. And second term, when I put L here, we get after cancelling L and L sin n pi which is 0. And lower limit both will be 0 because the first term it has x and second term it has sin. Then close the bracket. Coming to the next part, when I put upper limit 2l in this place, this entire term is 0. And when I put 2l here, ll gets cancelled, sin 2n pi is 0. So totally this is 0. And minus, when I put a lower limit l here, 2l minus l is l. And after putting L here, this becomes cos n pi after cancelling L and L. So it is minus, there is a minus sign. So I make this as minus 1 by n 
pi by L. Actually, there is a minus and cos in base minus 1 whole power N. And the second part is also 0. So, we have to rewrite this properly. We can take this L to the numerator. So, 1 by L square into L square minus 1 whole power N by N pi. And there is a minus sign. Here, there are 3, sorry, there are 2 minus. So, we can cancel and make it as plus 1 by L square. And we can take this L to the other, that is numerator. Already there is an L. So, L square by n pi and minus 1 whole power n. So we can cancel l square, l square and l square but anyway the remaining term minus of minus 1 whole power n by n pi plus minus 1 whole power n by n pi. So both are same but opposite sign. So minus 1 whole power n by n pi minus of minus 1 whole power n by n pi. It gets cancelled and it is 0. It means Bn is 0. Now coming to our formula, f of x is a0 by 2. So our a0 is 1. So 1 by 2 plus summation n equal to, we had only odd terms. So our a n is minus 4 by n square pi square. So we have minus 4 by n square pi square into cos n pi x by l. Since bn is 0, the remaining part will be 0. This is our required solution. So, the last term 0, no need to write. This is our required solution. But again, we can take minus 4 by n square pi square common. That is minus 4 by pi square common. So, f of x is 1 by 2 minus 4 by pi square sigma n equal to odd till infinity cos n pi x by L by n square. So, this is our final expansion of the given function. We can also rewrite this in another way. That is f of x is equal to 1 by 2 minus 4 by pi square and summation instead of making the odd term I can also make from 1 to infinity but every n is replaced as 2n minus 1 pi x by L whole division 2n minus 1 whole square. So, even this also another way of expressing the given expansion f of x. So, when n is replaced as 2n minus 1, we can make the odd series as from 1 to infinity itself. That is taking all the numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 dot 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 till infinity.